everybody, it's Oscar Sketches and welcome back to the Ultimate Elemental Animal Challenge Part 5. Before we get into it, I just wanted to give a very quick trigger warning because I'm going to be drawing a rat and a snake. So if you do not like those types of animals or like if you're scared of them, maybe not watch it because I, you know, obviously it's art so it's not going to be the scariest thing in the world, but I do have some photographs as references. So uh, be warned, click away now if you don't want to see that. First up we've got Robin and she is always so much fun to draw because she's so tiny and sweet and oh my goodness I love this character so much. She's so adorable right and <laughs> just oh there's not that you know much special uh, there's not much special about her design uh, she's just you know regular Robin but with different colours and she's uh, her element is water so she's gonna have a blue like face and chest. Um, instead of orange uh, and I, I know it's kind of simple but I really like that uh, bit of the design. I had so much fun with this sketch. I, I think this sketch turned out really really well. I'm not too like super happy with the colours but um, I think she looks really cute uh, nonetheless and goodness me she's so adorable. <laughs> so you know regular procedure, bit of airbrush, bit of cell shading, bit of black colours and uh, what have you, um, and that's Robin pretty much. Next up we've got Ignis, and Ignis, oh my goodness, this one, this one I had so much fun with. I I don't know what it is about this one, but in particular, but I just, I had so much fun drawing the fire, it was, oh, and just the, the colouring, oh, we'll get to that after the sketch, but that was so much fun, I enjoyed that a ton. And the little details in the fur, um, and just the sketch was a was a ton of fun as well. And you know the regular base colors were you know pretty uh, simple. You know, like I said, bit of airbrush, bit of uh, you know cell shading, and, and what what have you. Uh, a couple of fur details, but that's about it. Um, but then when I moved on to the fire, oh my goodness, that's when it was starting to really, really, really come together. Um, I think why I like this one so much is because the fire really interacts with this one more. Um, I think because of the lighting especially. But I also really like the shape of the fire, I suppose, that I was able to give him because uh, he's really small, right? Because he's just a rat. Um, so I think uh, what makes it work so well is um because like because it's so small i guess to put a little more detail into a small piece of fire i guess <laughs> small piece of i i don't know man <laughs> but i really like how it came out because i i know uh i think all that detail really really helps and then you know because it was looking it was looking nice like this but then i decided to add just a bit of lighting via an airbrush and really focus on the subsurface scattering that you'd be able to see on the ear and on the tail and bro that turned out so well i don't i like woo, i just love how this came out like it looks so good i i think i just i'm such a fan of this i really really am and up next is aurora and oh my goodness i feel like i say this about every animal that i draw but i i just i love drawing them um I, I really I adore snakes especially like the the really big ones like Aurora's um she's a a rock python I think um and she's so huge <laughs> and so heavy and it's so I love just sketching in all that that weight and that uh all that muscle and oh my goodness it's Oh, so pretty and so beautiful just that ma that just that mass and uh, and, and kind of like really figuring out how to properly depict that is so exciting and so much fun ah oh, and obviously her coloring was also really really fun to do uh, reptiles I've been like enjoying so much even though they take so long because I obviously I have to draw a lot of scales um, and I don't want to draw it via a brush because I feel like that starts to look repetitive after a while um but oh my goodness I had so much fun with this one because uh, Aurora is the earth python so um she uh 
has her, her scales are like in shapes of little leaves, right? So it's it's really cool. Um, uh, therefore, it took a lot of time to draw as well because I couldn't just do dots for everything. I had to like really make sure that it had kind of the shape of a leaf, sort of. Um, I put in way too much detail, bro. <laughs> but it was so much fun. Oh goodness, her markings were also just. I I love snakes, man. They're so pretty. And just the, the markings, I feel like oh, it makes it come together so much. Um, but then you know, especially after I do the, the bit of texture detail with all the scales and stuff. Ooh, bro, <laughs> it takes so long. It takes so long, but it's so worth it. Like with every and uh, with every element that I put a lot of, of texture and detail in, I feel like it's. It takes a long time, but it's so super worth it. It just, it, it looks so fantastic. <laughs> I know, I am I too big a fan of my own art? Is that a problem? I just, I, I love my characters, bro. I love my characters, man. So much, so much. <laughs> Her tongue was also really fun to draw because it. I didn't realize that snake tongues have so um, have such pretty colors in them, but they were so pretty <laughs> and so much fun. Um, and it was it was a lot of uh, it was really cool to to kind of capture that and not make it too bright, still make it work with the design. So I, I really liked it. It was so much fun. So for the skills, I did do dots, but then I think later in I went in uh, and did a couple bigger ones in the shape of leaves. And oh my goodness, she looks so pretty! And then yeah, uh, that's what you're seeing here. If you can even catch it, because it's sped up so much. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's what I get for doing like six drawings per video. Whoops. And I feel like this little bit of lighting really makes it come together because I was losing a little bit of the shape, so adding that bit of of top-down lighting I feel like really really helped. Um, I experimented a little bit more with it but I cut it uh, the last bit. And we're on to Aya! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I had so much fun drawing Aya! I had so much trouble in the beginning I feel like because I wanted to, her head uh, to um, I know look a certain way but I wasn't really able to get it to look good. Uh, I don't really know what it was, maybe it was my particular reference picture, that it just wasn't looking like a polar bear. Um, and I tried a couple different ones but eventually I settled on, on this one and oh my goodness she looks so pretty! I, I, I just I love this one because it really helps her personality shine because she's so she's such a happy-go-lucky girl right and she is so I, I just love drawing her with this big smile on her face. Oh, she looks so sweet and so pretty. Oh, I had, I just, I, had, I say that with everybody, but I had so much fun drawing her. And just, I'm having so much fun drawing all my characters. And I, I love showing you guys. Oh, her paws, her paws were so much fun to draw. I, okay, so I used to be really bad at drawing paws because I didn't draw them a lot because uh, usually when you have animal references, um, either their paws uh, or like their hooves and, and their feet in particular that usually covered up by whatever they're standing or maybe it's grass um, or you know within the snow if you're drawing a polar bear um, but it's lately I've just been really focusing on on finding good references for the feet and that's been so helpful with drawing them oh my goodness oh, I love how she came out because I paid so much attention to the way that the fur looks um, and the way that in my reference right and how to shade that and I, I feel like I've turned out so well um, especially when I add little details afterwards but I already feel like the base that I did with the airbrush worked really really well and then a little bit of shading with them uh, I think it's on multiply probably yeah oh I feel like it just makes it really come together and it just looks like a polar bear I can I can imagine what this feels like right if you were to run your hand across her fur it just i feel like you can feel it by looking at it i don't know if that's just my autism but we're gonna roll with it anyway on to duck i love drawing deer there's so i i love them so much their particular anatomy is so interesting because obviously they're built for, for uh, like running and escaping really quickly so their legs are really thin but they're you know so they're, they look so they look really fragile but 
also with their antlers and stuff they look really strong and robust as well so I, I love that contrast and I, I love how well it works together. Oh my gosh. And I, I just, I really, really enjoy capturing that energy, I guess. Oh, yuck is so pretty. <laughs> and you know, with like with all the light elementals, this one was uh, pretty easy to get the effect right because I caught my method. Um, but I just had so much fun with all the details with this one because I did um, like his little spots as well and oh, I, oh, I, I just, I, it's still, it's simple but I, I just, I'm so, I, I love how this came out, I love how this came out, I, he's so pretty, he's my pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least we have Patch and Patch is also really really fun to draw I haven't I've drawn him not like often I didn't draw him often is what I'm trying to say but I love drawing badges whenever I do because I their facial shape and facial structure is so unique it's like unlike any any other animal I really really like know what other animal kind of looks like this but I it's so unique and so sweet uh he's he's such a sweetheart like just look at my baby <laughs> he's so much fun to draw too oh he's so sweet he's so sweet I just everyone I, uh I feel like I'm repeating myself but I just I love everyone and I think everyone's sweet oh he's so adorable <laughs> so much fun with just this the shadow elementals are so interesting because I just, just they're mostly monochromatic um and then I just get to add just all the detail that I want because I don't have to really focus on the colors too much I just get to go ham on all the, the, the details and stuff and oh I just I love how he came out I love how he looks he's my pretty boy I am so excited about this one uh it just I am such a fan of this and of all my pieces I don't know what it is all of a sudden why I'm so happy with all my art but hey I will take it <laughs> I'm, I'm just having so much fun I think that's that might be it I'm just enjoying it because it because of my characters anyway thank you guys so so much for watching this video all the way to the end if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday have a great weekend guys and keep on sketching bye